Emmett was the happiest baby in the world. Emmett was mischievous. We had fun together. We laughed together. He had no sense of danger. Everything was funny to him. They always kind of prep you for going to Mississippi. And I don't know if Emmett was told or not. Mrs. Brown came out of the store. That's when Emmett whistled at her. Yes, he whistled at Carolyn Bryant when she came out of the store. Sunday morning, about 2.30, there was a man with a pistol. And he said, I want the boy from Chicago. I knew they weren't going to bring him back. It was a terrifying experience. The sheriff told me they had found a body. One of the most barbaric atrocities committed against a child in the history of mankind. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, we're going to open the casket. Let the people see what I've seen. We never have any trouble until some of our southern niggas go up north and the NAACP talks to them and they come back home. He stood up, pointed his finger, said, that's him. God is watching. Not guilty. Oh, yeah. Emmett was the catalyst that started the civil rights oh, movement. If it can further the cause of freedom, then I will say that he died a hero. He is watching. She made America deal with its ugly racial problem. Oh, he whistled at a white woman and ended up dead at the bottom of a river. Now, nearly 50 years later, a film called The Untold Story of Emmett Lewis Till helped reopen his case. We owe it to Emmett Till. God is watching. We owe it to his mother. Mm -hmm. We owe it to ourselves. Mm -hmm.